Good morning, Utah. Happy Friday. Wanted to give you an update on our current weather situation. It is still very messy out there this morning, but we're seeing some calmer conditions in portions along the Wasatch Front, mainly along and west of I-15 as those snow showers are moving into the Wasatch, but we're still looking at some snowy roads and still got a few flurries flying here at the station. As we said, at 34 degrees, meanwhile, Parley's Canyon still looks like a parking lot as you're making your way up Parley's Canyon, and those roads are snow covered. So it's still probably a good idea to hold off on travel if you can, because not only are we see, still seeing some snow showers out there currently, but we still have more to go. So the bulk of the heaviest snow from earlier this morning now moving east into the Wasatch, but we have another batch of snow coming in from the west, and this is the cold front itself, and we could see more times of heavy snow as we go throughout the next several hours as we approach the latter half of the morning and approach midday. In southern Utah, it's a little bit calmer. Even though the cold front is mainly going to impact the northern portion of the state, we'll still have that chance for isolated showers in the southern portion of the state, and you can actually see that snow moving its way in by this afternoon, and then once the cold front moves into eastern Utah, we could see a few thunderstorms there. The bulk of what we'll see by this evening into tonight will be mainly be scattered snow showers in the northern portion of the state. The winter weather advisories, the winter storm warnings, these remain in effect through noon on Saturday. The winter storm warnings continue for the Wasatch Mountains and the Wasatch Back, while the Wasatch Front continues in that winter weather advisory through noon tomorrow. So again, make sure that you continue to stay tuned on the weather and we'll continue to keep you posted on ABC4 and ABC4.com.